Hi guys, it's Enam Kafour here with the Google Nexus 7 tablet made by Asus. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use a flash drive as additional support for the Nexus 7 tablet. And the way in which you can do that is, and if you've already got the Nexus you'll know that natively it doesn't support USB flash drives. Um, so it doesn't include the drivers in those as standard. So what you need to do, head over to the Google Play Store and search for Nexus Media Importer. Now you can see I've already got it installed there. It doesn't need root access at all. So once it's installed, what will happen is it'll look something like, if I can find it now, there we go, Nexus Media Importer. This is what it looks like with once you load it up. You've got four tabs along the top, photos, videos, music, docs, scan, and a menu button there. So pretty much self-explanatory really. In this example I'm going to be using my 1GB memory flash drive uh, to test this and show it to you. Now in reality it will take any size flash drive so the size doesn't really matter. So that's the one I'm going to be using anyway. And this is the cable I'm going to be using to attach it to the Nexus 7 tab. Now as you can see there it's got a micro USB port on the one side which plugs into the tab and along the other side where you plug your flash drive into it's got a female USB port. Now this USB on the go cable you can pick up for a pound uh, or just over a dollar so off Amazon or eBay whichever you prefer to buy off. So all we're going to do, we're just going to park that up there for a second. Just take the flash drive, plug it into the one side, the female side of the USB on the go cable. There's only one side you can put it really but so you can't really screw that up. On the other side just plug it into the tab and as you plug it in the Nexus Media Importer app recognizes that it's a USB device plugged in and just prompts you to say do you want to use this app? Yes we do. Now straight away you can see I've got, if I bring that in a little closer, it's on the photo tab there and it's got you can see the two photos I've got in there. Go to the videos you can see I've got two movie trailers in there, music I've got one album on there I haven't got any documents on there at the moment. And it gives you the formatting and the drivers being FAT32. Now if I click on the photos, if I want to see a preview of whatever I already have, I'll just tap on it and the bottom end of the screen shows a preview of it. If I tap the top one, it shows a preview of it as well. If I want to see it full screen, you can tap in this, doesn't do anything however. So what you need to do is hit stream along the top and then it uses whatever application that is associated with the file that you've just clicked on and it opens it up. In this example it's a gallery. Same goes for the other one, so if I just tap it there and then hit stream, it uses the gallery app to open it up. Picture of my son there. Okay, moving along to the video one. Again, this is straight off the USB on the go cable just plugged into the device, nothing else. If we tap on, say, that's the Batman Begins trailer, I think. No, the Dark Knight Rises, I believe. So, again, the preview doesn't give you much, you can't tap on it, it doesn't do anything, just a picture of a, a film real there, hit stream along the top and it brings you basically a selection of what you want to open the video player with. So I'll hit MX Play and just once to open that up. And then same film controls work as normal. Again. No lag as you can see there, audio is in sync with the video. There you go, nothing at all which is lagging or symbolising that it's been played off an external storage, plays it beautifully. So I'll show you the second trailer, again just tapping on it gives you the preview or the film reel symbol there, hit stream. MX player, I can choose always but I'm not gonna. This is a trailer of the new film Ted. Just move it along a little bit. Just 
So as you saw there, no lag, no distortion in the video. Audio and video is in sync beautifully, even though it's being played off the USB on the Go cable while it's plugged in. I'm just going to hit back off there. And if we also scroll across the top to go to the music section now where I've got the... I'm just going to play one of the album tracks. Tapping on it doesn't do anything. It just displays a quick picture of a speaker there. To play it, hit stream along the top. It displays a selection of players that you want to use. Select the one that you want to use. I'll choose that one. And then it just starts playing it. Pretty much. Uh, and you can pause it. Whoops. Stop it. That kind of stuff. As you'd expect. I haven't got any documents on there, but it works in a similar manner. Now, it streams these straight from the USB on the Go cable to the Nexus 7 tablet. So, if you want to move any of these to your device, it's easy. You can pretty much, say if I want to move that TED film trailer, trailer rather, what I do is tap it, and it's got a save button along the top. I don't know if you can see that. Just there. So if I hit save, and then it says saving TED, so it just downloads it. And I've done already one of the movie tracks, so what we'll do is go to downloads, because it downloads it as a regular app. Hit downloads, and there you go. You can see one of the whatupgangster.mp3, it was imported from an external drive, how big it was and the time. And if you want to play that, as you would normally, there you go. As any other track. And that's how you can move files to your Nexus 7 tablet from an external flash drive. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't already subscribed, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and you can stay in touch and watch some of our future videos. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.